The TrueLab is developing new imaging technologies. One project is to develop a nanoscale photoacoustomography. So what we want to do is to build a nanoscope without using fluorescence technique. So the whole project, nanoscale photoacoustic tomography, seeks to extend the, the resolution of conventional photoacoustic microscopy to the nanometer level, thus allowing us to image single cells at extremely high resolutions. Let's break this down. So what is a nanoscale? Nano equals anything divided into a billion. So imagine what would happen if we have one meter, we cut this in half, and we repeat this process one billion times. The particles of it would be so small that it would be imperceptible to the eyes. Therefore, making the resolution of the image really crisp. In conventional photoacoustic microscopy, we shine a very brief laser pulse at the sample that we want to image. This sample then converts that laser light energy into detectable ultrasound. We then try to pick up that ultrasound with an ultrasonic transducer and then try to create an image. The resolution of this image is dependent on how high a frequency we can detect with the transducer that we use. So imagine we have John and we want to scan his red blood cells. What would happen is that we would shine a laser into the cell and scan it. This will create heat that will make the cell expand and this energy will be converted into sound waves which will be then picked up by the ultrasonic transducer, recreating an image of the cell. However, conventional ultrasonic transducers are not capable of picking up the high frequencies needed for nanometer level resolution. So in nanoscale photoacoustic tomography, what we do is we swap out the ultrasound transducer and instead use a second laser beam for detection. By using a second laser in lieu of a transducer for detection, we're able to pick up much, much higher frequencies than conventional transducers can, thereby improving our resolution down to the nanoscale and allowing for single cell imaging. I believe the nanoscale photohistomography will have a broad application in biomedicine and material science.